guys, what's up? So welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a q and A. I'm super excited because I have not done one in a long time. What is this? What is that? I just told you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. I got a ton of good ones already. I'm looking at them and I'm just like, yes. Also, I have a Twitter, so I'm gonna plan to do a Twitter Q&A. So if you're not following me on Twitter, I will do that. And I know so many people keep asking me, Lizzie, do you have Snapchat? Lizzie, when will you get a Snapchat? I do not have Snapchat, and I said I wasn't gonna get one, and for some reason, there's just like a little pinch in me that almost wants to get one. So we'll see. It might come soon. Let's just get started. First question is, this one's from Elizabella, and it says, have you ever farted in front of Glenn, and does he know you poop? I already can tell how this Q&A is gonna go. Yes, I fart in front of Glenn. I have no issue farting. That is just something that's natural, and also, yes, he knows I poop. If I did not poop, that would be very, very scary, and I would take my booty to the hospital. Everybody poops. It's normal. It's natural. Yes, it stinks, but that's why we have air freshener Hawaiian Aloha but yeah that stuff does not embarrass me it's just we gotta poop and we fart that's just life V underscore Chen 16 asked me how did you and Glenn meet now I wanted to do a whole Q&A with Glenn but you know what? I'm just gonna answer this right now so long story short we met at a typical spot the gym so obviously you know we saw each other we would say hi and all of that and I was already single for one whole year and then he kind of heard from the grapevine that I was single and it just so happened that he always had some sort of interest for me you know we would talk here and there and you know just be really friendly one of the things that I really loved about Glenn is that he was super respectful he wasn't one of those typical guys at the gym who's trying to be like Whoa! like trying to be incredible Hulk or something like that but that he actually really asked me how was my day I hope my day was good and say hi and his eyes weren't going anywhere below my eyes, so I really appreciated that. I don't know, I just always could tell, like whenever I would say hi to him, that he was such a genuine good guy. Like when we first started, like we actually like exchanged numbers and all that. It was hilarious. Like that next day that I saw him at the gym, I just felt so nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, like we finally started texting. It's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like you just exchanged numbers. The next day I saw him at the gym, he was working out with his brother and I was working out in the mirror, like say like right in front of me and I could see him and he saw me and I turned around and I was like, you know, I waved like, you know, I was like excited. And then guess what I did guys? Guess what I did? The robot. And when I started doing it, I was just like, why am I doing this? Stop this. This is so embarrassing. It was probably the one of my newest embarrassing moments when I was just like, why am I doing the robot? Like, who does that? I don't know. I just like doing the robot randomly. Jackie D has like a triple E at the end, D asked me, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Haruken. So MUA Gen MA asked me, what is your advice for single ladies who can't find a good guy? All the single ladies, all the single ladies. In my opinion, I would just say don't search and don't worry. Be a happy. But really, that's how I just really feel how it should be. I think it's one of those things that it should just flow. Because I knew Glenn for a couple years at the gym and we would say hi and all of that. And I never thought in, you know, ever that we would date and be where we are now. Not that I didn't think he was attractive or anything. You just never know what will end up happening. So if it was really in, this is just my opinion because I know a lot of people actually search for love or they search for people and they do it online because so many things are done online. And I do know a couple, couples that have already gotten married and they met online. I went on so many first dates and that's where it stopped. And I wish some of my first dates would have stopped after 10 minutes. I think it's really important just to get to know a lot of personalities because I'm saying when I went on some first dates, I really went on a lot of first dates because I was in a relationship for so many years and even before that, that it's important to really find what's out there in the world because I'm telling you, every single person is different in their own way. And it is just crazy how many personalities and so many different things that that other people can offer, then you're gonna really figure out 
what you truly love. But if you're having a hard time finding someone, don't fret because it'll happen when it happens. Just until then, go on some first dates if you want to and just have fun. Live it up. Concentrate on yourself. I always think that's the best thing. So Mama underscore Ashley asked me, what made you decide I'm going to make a YouTube? Like what gave you that push? So basically I was watching YouTube for all these years and I loved it. It was so cool just to watch all the different videos. I watched Beauty Galore. In my personal life, there was no girls around me that really knew about limited edition collections. They thought that shopping at MAC was way too expensive, that any lipstick above $7 was just ridiculous, and they couldn't talk about a baby pink lipstick for 20 minutes like I could. So I just went to YouTube for my girl time, and at the time, I was just like, I need my own time, like my own girly time. So I ended up doing a YouTube video, and I showed my favorite nude lip combo. It's on private. I think it'll be fun to kind of show that in like another video. But yeah, I just really did it just for girl time. I had no idea this can turn into a whole, you know, shebang and a whole real job and turn into so many opportunities and a real career online. So it's pretty crazy. But I basically just started because I wanted girl time and I didn't really have anybody who wanted to talk about makeup with. So Angry and Span asks, what do you do if your boyfriend wants to take things to the next level but you're not ready yet? Girl, tell him right away ASAP that you are not ready. I'm not sure what level you're talking about, but no matter what level it is, just tell him straight up because I mean, Communication is something that needs to be practiced within the relationship from beginning to end and then that's what's really gonna help you grow So tell him like right now click out of YouTube call him up say I want to talk to you in person just because I think it's better You know face to face so you can really see the look on your face like look This is not a joke because sometimes through text It's really impersonal and then also on the phone It's just like do it in person get off YouTube and then you can come back to this video so Big Cat 67 says, when are you and Glenn getting married? He's good for you, don't second guess anything. I see how he looks at you and how you look at him. You're great together. Plus the world needs little what would Lizzie do's. Whew. But really, do you plan to get married or have babies? Yes, me and Glenn plan to get married. When we get engaged, that's really up to him now when he feels comfortable and when he wants to make this special moment with me. We've already talked about that. We are very clear on what we want in our future and we don't definitely see each other together in our futures. He is seriously like, oh, he's the yin to my yang. And as far as babies, I would love a little girl. Like I told him, this might be TMI, but we're gonna have a little girl until I get one. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I mean, I definitely want kids. I love them. I think I would be a wonderful mother. Uh, as a mother right now, no. But in the future and after a couple years and years or whenever it happens, then yes. So Logan Hearted asked me, would you rather lose your suitcase on vacation and never get anything back or fall into a pit of snakes and get out after one hour? I'd rather lose my suitcase. I am so scared of snakes, bugs, insects, anything like that, but it's okay. I'd rather just lose my suitcase because I know my suitcase, if I checked it in and that's the one that got lost, the one that I always bring on the carry-on with me is all my makeup, my electronics, and the stuff that I do not want possibly broken, lost, or stolen. So I'd rather lose my main suitcase. So underscore Emmy Lou underscore asked me, what is your most embarrassing moment? I don't really have like a mortifying embarrassing moment where I'm just like, oh my gosh, just kill me now. I don't know. I don't, I get like embarrassed, but it's always like something I can laugh at. I mean, like I said, if you watch like some videos like a while ago, I mentioned a video where I had like a white undercast and I thought it was hilarious. Like the NARS reflecting powder did me so wrong at that event. I took so many pictures and I had a, like that flash underneath. I thought it was hilarious. I know some girls would not think that that was funny at all and be super mad at other girls that they posted that picture, but I didn't care. I don't know. That's just me. But one of my most embarrassing moments was probably when I went to yogurt land and when I was walking back to my car, I was holding and I was eating it and then after like I stuck my spoon in and I went to go find my keys and when I was walking I actually tripped over one of those little parking spot little stoppers I went flying in the air my yogurt went flying obviously with me and it was just like Whoa! And then I totally fell flat on my face and my yogurt was all over the floor and my hands were black from like the parking lot and I thought that was hilarious and I started laughing so hard and looking around to see who was there and I was by myself. A moment like that, I just would like to laugh with somebody. <laughs> so I guess you can see that's like one of my most embarrassing moments, but no one was there to witness it.
underscore Kiovo asked me, are you a Drake fan? Because I sure am. Love you, Lizzie. Love you too. I am a Drake fan, but I'm not like obsessed with him. I just know you do not want to Drake and drive. I got my eyes on you. So Sweet Disposition asked me, what do you get when you go to Coco's, the curry house? And do you get annoyed when people go up to you at a restaurant? So I think this is someone that might have seen me at Coco's because I remember seeing a comment saying, hey, I saw you there and I didn't want to bug you and I was so shy. If Okay, first of all, what I get if I do go to a curry house, it's always chicken katsu. That's what I always get if you guys are wondering. But if any of you ever see me in public or out in the restaurants, even if I'm in the bathroom because I've met some girls in the bathroom, please say Hi. I actually feel really sad when I see people comment and then they don't say hi to me saying how shy or embarrassed they were. There's nothing to be shy or embarrassed about. If anything, I should be the one who's embarrassed or shy because I'm the freak. I get really excited, so just say hi. It's not a big deal. Don't be embarrassed or anything like that. I mean, I've met a lot of you already. It's such a, it's so crazy what a big world it is, but how small it is at the same time. I mean, I've even had drinks with some of you. April Catalano says, how tall are you? I am 5'9". When I had my meetup this last weekend in Minnesota, it was so funny because so many people were like, you are so tall. And can you imagine when I wear five inches? Woo! But I actually really love being tall and I wish I was 5'11 instead of 5'9". Gladys underscore Rivera 96 says when are you and Glenn moving in together love you love you too and I love everybody as well uh, we plan on moving together in the beginning of next year I'm really excited the only thing that really sucks is I'm really sad to leave my mom because my mom is like my best friend we are like partners in crime for life we are gonna stay local to the South Bay area obviously because our families are all in the South Bay and I could never leave my mom like my mom is number one so I want to make sure if she ever calls me or needed anything uh, which I plan on helping her anyhow because I'm the one who drives her to her uh, you know her like her errands and I do the store for her and all that stuff because she doesn't drive so I'm definitely gonna stay close so I can make sure that I still see her all the time and still do her errands for her and we still have you know our times together because like I said she is number one so to autism one love says where's one place you and Glenn have always wanted to visit or fun adventure or something we've always wanted to do get that blah, 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 blah. do together so one place both of us have really wanted to visit is Thailand and we're finally getting the chance to do it we're going for my birthday my birthday is August 24th and I told him I was like hey let's save our money let's plan an adventure to Thailand so we started doing that and we saved our money and we're going we're going for two whole weeks of adventure from August 16th until the 30th and I'm just like I can't even believe that we're even going it hasn't like like hit me yet. We're doing something so every single day and at the end of our trip where we go to Phuket, some of you say F it. And when we go there, I've actually been looking up some websites and stuff like that because I wanna make sure if I get a chance, like on those last couple days, we kind of have some free time. If we can, uh, in the area, go to some sort of uh, school or anywhere where we can kind of donate time for underprivileged children and I or if we can't do that then I want to see if I can bring some makeup that I have from companies that I haven't used or touched and I want to bring it over there to donate so I want to bring like an extra luggage so I think that would be really cool so yeah I've been looking that up so I hope we get to do that if anything I know how to donate online already I've already researched things I personally would just like to spend physical time you know uh, playing with the children and just making people happy and learning about their culture and yeah I think that would be really just that that would be a birthday present in itself so bear Sierra bear Sierra 18 asked me what kind of candy best describes you and why and I'm just gonna have to go with my favorite candy ever and it is gummy bears and I'm gonna say gummy bears just because they're bouncy and fun and all different colors and for me I'm very free-spirited and I don't know I just think it just Flex me. Whenever you're eating gummy bears, you can think of me. So that was it for my q and I hope you enjoyed. Again, I apologize for not doing a QA and a in a really long time. I'm not sure if you guys really enjoy them, so if you would like me to do more, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. But I plan on taking these questions on Instagram and doing a part two if you would like. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe because it is free 99. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and maybe Snapchat in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Whoop, whoop.